Scott Donaldson, whose first professional title was the Bet Victor Championship League earlier this year, returned to the event in Group 22 on Wednesday. His first opponent was Ashley Carty, who performed well at this event in the summer before making his Crucible debut in August. The Scot, though, was dominant, growing in the match and walking away with a 3-0 win. Chris Wakelin then beat Barry Pinchers by the same 3-0 scoreline before also facing Carty, who now needed a result. At 2-1 down, Carty levelled to keep his hopes alive, but he was now relying on other results. Six, the Ashley Carty with a really good clearance to blue. Thanks, Gav. Salvages a two-all draw. Chris Wakelin will have regrets. He might well have cleared up in the second frame. He didn't take advantage of an outrageous fluke escaping a snooker. And in that frame, he seemed to be holding all of the aces. But then, well in front, Mr. Pink to middle. And so, for him, it's only a two-all draw. For Carty, well, some consolation in getting a single point. Chris Wakelin does move to the head of the table. On table two, Group C Jimmy Robertson opened with a 3-1 win over Alan Taylor before suffering a reversal of that scoreline at the hands of David Grace, who had earlier drawn with Mark King. King then defeated Alan Taylor 3-1, setting up a crunch clash with Robertson. Either player could still advance, as could David Grace, who would face Taylor in the final match of the group. It was King who got the win, which kept him in contention and knocked Robertson out. The former Northern Ireland Open champion was now waiting on the result of Grace against Taylor. Grace had to win and took the first frame before being pegged back by Taylor, who went on to close out the match, meaning King advanced. And so, Alan Taylor wins the match by three frames to one, and in so doing, he wrecks David Grace's hopes of topping the group, although those hopes had already been extinguished before the fourth and final frame. Back on table one, Scott Donaldson beat Barry Pinchers 3-1 to set up a decider with Chris Wakelin. Donaldson needed just a draw and was guaranteed that when he went 2-1 up, meaning he topped the group despite Wakelin taking the fourth Seven. and final frame of the match. Chris Wakelin, 70, on the frame. That does the trick in terms of winning the frame, but in terms of topping the group, Scott Donaldson had already done enough by gaining a two-all draw. Confirmation then that Donaldson advances with Wakelin in second, Carty takes third and Pinchers is fourth. On table two, Mark King topped the group having gone unbeaten. Grace took second with Robertson pipping Taylor to third having beaten the Merseyside man earlier in the day.